still on my way. Still on my way. Yeah. I'm just greedy like Chubbs with a hustle like Boat. Trying to get it out. Here comes Kobe working by Christie in the turbo and puts it up and down for two. Kobe Bryant. Kobe again. Christie is on him. Bryant will fire the two. Bucket. Got it. Foul on the play. Kobe is giving them the business. He is literally taking this game over. Here's Bryant. Oh, got the screen. Takes it in. The hammer. Kobe Wilder. Oh, my Kobe goodness. Look at that. And Kobe Bryant slamming the door on Sacramento with that play there. Point sixteen rebound performance. Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, the dominant forces in this game. Unstoppable in the playoffs. Plowing through the Blazers. Up 3-0 on the Kings. Can anyone stop the Lakers? A look at the California State Capitol, the city of Sacramento, ready for playoff basketball. And we're inside a very loud Arco Arena for the game four starting lineup. Here's the King's public address announcer, Scott Moak. Let's meet the visiting team, the Los Angeles Lakers. At four, 6'10", from Clemson, number 54, Horace Grant. At forward, 6'7", from North Carolina, number 17, Rick Fox. At guard, 6'1", from Arkansas Little Rock, number 2, Derek Fisher. At guard, 6'6", from Lower Marion High School, number 8, Kobe Bryant. At center, 7'1", from Louisiana State, number 34, Shaquille O'Neal. The head coach of the Lakers is Phil Jackson. And now, let's meet the starting five for your Sacramento Kings. Your 6-1 guard from Marshall, number 55, Jason
They haven't lost in over a month. The role players have been huge as well. Rick Fox defensively, Horace Grant on the glass, Derek Fisher orchestrating and running the point. L.A. running on all cylinders. System, go. The defending NBA champion Lakers, it's Derek Fisher and the great Kobe Bryant in the backcourt. Defensive specialist, Rick Fox. The experienced Horace Grant at the forward. And the big man in the middle, Shaquille O'Neal. He is torching Sacramento in this series. And for the three-seeded king, Jason Williams running the point. Joined by Sacramento stopper, Doug Christie at the two. Sharpshooter, Patience Diakovich is the small four. And the Kings all-star, Chris Webber and Vladi Divac round out their five. The Lakers up in this best of seven series, three games to none. Los Angeles winning games one and two in Staples Center. Shaq was dominant in each win. And less than 48 hours ago here in Sacramento, Kobe still in the show in a 103-81 win for the Lakers. Sacramento really struggling from the floor in this series. Yes. Now here's Williams. After the miss from Chris Webber. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. And Mike, remember, Chris Webber is gutting it out tonight, playing on two, not one, two sprained ankle. He's been nowhere close to 100% this year. Who knows to see Webb for not complaining about it? Well, the big story in this one, as we told you, Kobe Bryant flying home between games three and four. And for the inside scoop, let's go to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Kobe leaving the team for personal matters. Immediately after game three, he flies privately back home to Los Angeles. Bryant was not his normal bubble himself today. We'll take that out on the Kings. Kevin? Hey, Mike. Kobe is always David under the microscope tonight. Here's Diakovich following the basket by Kobe Bryant. A floater. Good! Pieces Diakovich. Diakovich second to Tracy McGrady and most improved player voting. And he has been a little bit off the mark this series. Under par for him. The Kings have to points. get more. And court just an incredible series so far for Shaquille O'Neal. How about this, Kevin? Averaging 36 and 20 so far. The Kings absolutely have no answer for it. Coach, fresh off a career playoff high of 36 points. Kobe Bryant looking for another big game here in Sacramento. Doug Christie has the assignment. And what a difficult one that is. Kobe's cooking. Dating back to the regular season, nine straight games with more than 20 points. Here's Fisher. Outside Bryant. And the three ball is good. Bryant. Bryant's got seven Bryant. points in the game. Kobe has such confidence. Feels like this guy can score whenever he wants to. To the left wing. Devots against O'Neal. Now here's Devots. Guarded close. Shot clock at five. Drilled from 11 feet out. It's rare to see a guy of Divac's size knock down Jays. But he grew up in Europe, where they develop all the skills of their ball players. Williams against Fisher. The pass to Bryant. Here's the three. And another three for the Lakers. The D's there, but not enough to bother him. He can't just be there. You gotta get in his face. This is an extremely loud arena. Those cowbells adding to the noise. Bill Jackson is actually wearing earplugs. He famously called Sacramento a cow town, and the fans brought out the bells. I tell you what, Rick Fox loves those cowbells. He says it reminds him of growing up in the Bahamas. Fox's favorite music all featured a cowbell. Boy, Weber doing a nice job passing. The ball seems to know whenever one of his guys is open. That's extra talent there. And Fisher gets to Kobe. And that comes off the assist by Derek Fisher. Three Fisher's got three assists now in this one. One of the best ways to respond to a trifecta, knock down one of your own. You fight fire with fire. Matrimony. Weber, the best of defense. Outside Williams. Good ball over here by the Kings. And it's in there. Weber's got his second bucket of the game to go. Nothing escapes Williams' vision. When a guy gets that wide open, he's always going to find him. Fisher looking it over. At the elbow, it's Bryant. 
Pass it to O'Neal. And it's blocked by Divac. Excellent block from Divac that time. Good timing and anticipation. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. A defensive play like that early in the game can go a long way. Establishes an attitude that you want to have during the game. And some changes here for the Kings. Turkle is checked in for Christie. And it's Jackson in for Williams. And the Lakers also making a change. Warriors checked in. Out of bounds. Sacramento takes possession. Just not on the same page right there. Not sure what he was trying to do with that pass. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Sacramento. Trailing by two. The Kings led the NBA in points per game during the regular season. But in this series, Mike, Sacramento hasn't been sharp offensively. The playoffs are a different beast. Much more difficult to score. You've got Page at 35% during this series. Vladi only 36%. Williams at 32%. And Doug Christie shooting 26%. Harper, who's checked in for Los Angeles. And Robert Ory on the floor coming off the bench. As clutch as they come, Mike. Winning a couple titles with the Rockets. Hitting some huge shots. His leadership is big for this Lakers team. Christie is checked in for the Kings. The Lakers also with a sub. Shaw's checked in for Horace Grant. And Mike, a welcome side for Phil Jackson. Ron Harper able to play tonight. Ron was on the three-peat Bulls teams in the mid-90s under Phil. Had knee surgery, has only played five minutes all playoffs. The 37-year-old Harper was key for last year's title team. Tell you what, he's going to have a lot more chances to knock down shots if he continues to shoot like that from the three-point line. Just watch the lanes open wider as the defense creeps toward the perimeter. Here's Christie. No scoring in this one. Never outside. Let's it go. Nice jump shot. Good. Well, the Inchad still in their 20s, Clark, but with a title under their belt, this could be one of the all-time duos in NBA history. With that in mind, who are some of the other great tag teams you've seen? Well, you can start right with the Lakers, Kevin. I mean, Wilt and Jerry West. How about more recently in the 80s, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Magic Johnson. Stockton and Malone still going at it in a strong fashion in Utah. I'd also throw Bird and McHale in Boston in the mix as well. He's a tough guy to guard anywhere on the floor. Shaq does a really good job using his body to gain position. Jackson kicks to Stiakovich. And another three for Sacramento. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Drops it in. That's 18 for him in the quarter. The handles Kobe has are outrageous. You can tell how much he loves creating for himself. The Kings trail by four. They get a hand on it. Pass to Weber. Mike, it's off for Weber right there. The Lakers have done a nice job defending him this series. It's been a team effort, but the veteran Horace Grant has done a great job on it. Not his bread and butter shot, but don't leave Kobe open from out there. And so it's Los Angeles heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we... Back here in a rocking Arco Arena, maybe the wildest building in the NBA. Lakers leading by seven. The Lakers leading the series three games to none, trying to complete the sweep tonight. Hey, Mike, no matter what happens here tonight, this has easily been the best season in Sacramento Kings history. This team has a lot to be proud of, don't you think? 55 wins, a franchise record, winning their first playoff series ever since coming to Sacramento. And with this young roster, I think they're just getting started. It's good, and that's 26 points this half. Oh, it's been all First Kobe all the time tonight. First what a scoring machine. Defensive foul. Doug and Christine. it's Kobe Bryant with First the trip to the line, foul. Mike. He's having First his finest foul. season. During the regular season, fourth in the NBA is scoring at over 28 points per game. Easily a career best. Kobe also averaging five assists per game. He doesn't get enough credit for that part of his game. Here's Pollard. The shot goes in. First shot, first pass. Another stellar offensive game from Kobe Bryant. Mike already in double figures. 
Bryant has just destroyed the Kings in this series. You can't throw double teams on him with Shaq out there. A three from Bryant. It's good for Bryant. Back to back 30 point games. And the level of awareness from Harper. Great job spotting his uncovered teammate. Jackson against Harper, and it's good, two points. I think you gotta show more fight than that. Can't give up on the play once you get screened. You gotta continue to fight through. And Coach is definitely gonna be frustrated with that effort, or lack of one, that is. And again, it's Sacramento converting. Really a big part of his game. Christie finding the open man here. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Jackson against Harper. Pass to Bryant. Got it. 32 points now in the half. Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. Time out, time and the out. defense continues to not be up to the challenge. Mike, coming into tonight, Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal combining for just about 66% of the Lakers scoring this series. This is as good a combo as we've ever seen. Shaq and Kobe are still in their 20s. Weber, he's jacked in for the Kings. Stojakovic comes in for Thunderbird. And then for Los Angeles. Grant, he's checked in for Madsen. Fox comes in for Shaw. And Derek Fisher is subbed in for Harper. There's the pass to Jackson. A three-pointer is right on target. Jackson's got seven points for the quarter. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Fox with it. Guarded now by Jackson. Ryan gets it to go. He's got 34. And at times, I tell you what, there is no defense for Bryant. I mean, he's got the ability to finish over any type of defense. This is it to Jackson. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. They don't get their attention. You know, I admit, there is a little bit of a gray area when it comes to setting screens, but that one was pretty clear cut to me. Yeah, got to have your feet set. He did easy ball for the officials. Adi Divac checked in for Sacramento. You know, during this title defense for the Lakers, Clark, both Shaq and Kobe have missed extended periods of time. And, you know, Kevin, quoting Phil Jackson, who said, the best thing that happened to us were the separate injuries to Kobe and Shaq. The Zen master loved that everybody couldn't just rely on that super duo. The role players had to step up and be held accountable, and they've delivered. Here's Christie following the basket by Kobe Bryant. And it's sent back by Bryant. Great defense that time by Kobe. Elite at that end of the floor, too. Kobe from Kobe deep. Bryant. That three gives him 39. A new playoff best. Topping the 36 that he had in game three. Back-to-back -back games with playoff career highs. We don't see that often. This guy is special. Here's Weber driving to the basket. And Weber throws it down. Going downhill, C. Webb forcing the issue. Clark once again, Kobe Bryant just owning this battle with Chris Webber. Exactly, especially games two and three. Kobe has been the better player. If you're Webber, Kobe Bryant, you've got to find a way to step three up. Points. Well, this could be a sweep. Well, back during the offseason, Lakers legendary player and front office man, Jerry West, off to Vancouver, taking over another ex-Laker player in Mitch Kupchak. David Aldridge has more. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Yes, Jerry left Vancouver for a new challenge to try and build up the young Grizzlies. West has been the lead decision maker for six title teams in L.A. He engineered those massive trades that brought in superstars like Shaq and Kobe. Kupchak took over during the summer. Mitch was Jerry's right-hand man for many years. Those are very big shoes to fill, Kevin. Absolutely, D.A. Mitch's first big move, a four-team trade, netting the Lakers' big man, Greg Foster, and Mike Horace Grant. I love that deal for the Lakers, adding size around Shaq, taking a little pressure off of him. The thing I love the most about Kobe, his will. Bryant plays with a fire that is unmatched. You add that to his talent, you have an incredible basketball player. Mike, we agree the biggest storyline for the Sacramento Kings is this Chris Webber's last game as a king. He's a free agent. Will he resign? Will Chris return? Most reports are that he's gone. And that'd be a shame. The Kings have built something. They have a really bright 
bright future for the Lakers. Been the focus for this franchise. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. He hits the second from the line. We've got 123 left in the first half of basketball. Up top, Weber. Now the feed to Divac. It's blocked by Shaq. Sending a statement with that rejection. O'Neal reminding everybody what a forceful defender he can be. Got it to go. That's 48. Boy, he's playing out of his head. Nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now. So far, no go. He's gone three for four from the line. Here's Christie. Good, and Weber gets the assist. Weber's got three assists tonight. Really good move by Christie inside, finding a way to beat that tight defense. Fisher outside. It's good for Fisher. Derek Fisher missed the first 62 games of the season, and L.A. struggled without him. Since he's been back, they have a 21-5 record. Clark zeroed out the Lakers are the hottest team right now in the NBA, including the end of the regular season. They are on a very long winning streak. Well, the numbers say it all. I mean, 14 straight wins, Kevin. Most of those wins in blowout fashion. When the Lakers are fully healthy, this is a scary, scary team. The shot and game clock separated by four. Here's Kobe. O'Neal passes to Bryant. Kobe with 50. This kid is unreal. Boy, I like that pass from O'Neal. He's got a great feel for the game. Outside to Weber. Three-pointer. A three off for the Kings. They only made one triple in all of game three. Bryant getting it done for the Lakers. He's looking to make history here today. Who knows how many points he'll end up with when it's all said and done. We've got more in store for you right after this. Kings trying to avoid going fishing on the Sacramento River. Although it does look nice, doesn't it, guys? Welcome, everyone, to Sacramento. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. We're back in California's capital, Sacramento. The Lakers up three games to none in this series. And so Bryant will bring it up for Los Angeles. 18 points separate the team. That's the biggest lead of the game. Now, Mike, for the second straight year, the Kings and Lakers facing off here in the NBA playoffs. Last year, they went the full five games in the first round. The eighth-seeded Kings putting a scare into the top-seeded Lakers. The Lakers blowing out Sacramento 113-86 in the deciding game. There's the length from Fox going to work. Sent it right back. It's good from long range. Williams has had his first three points of the game. Well, the last time the Lakers swept a seven-game series, Clark, you have to go back to the 1989 Western Conference Finals with the Sun. And that Lakers team, Kevin, was led by Magic and Kareem, was undefeated heading into the finals, but the bad boy Pistons shockingly swept the Lakers. Clark, you and I were talking with Chris Webber before this game, and obviously he has that big free agent decision coming up. Very interesting that he has already talked with some rivals for advice. Well, C. Webb told us he talked with Shaq about his decision. Remember, O'Neal went from Orlando here to the Lakers. And he also talked with Tim Duncan, who stayed in San Antonio, almost going to Orlando. And Mike, here we are seeing it again. Kobe Bryant just torching the King. All series long, Bryant has been getting his. His first offensive game is giving Sacramento fits. Lakers leading by 19. Here's Kobe. Good. 59 Kobe points now. Well, that's just a demonstration of terrific ball skills from Kobe. Avoided the defender and gets it to fall inside. Weber dishes to Stojakovic. Back to Weber. Pass to Christie. The kick out to Williams. A three ball. Traps in the tray. Williams has got nine. Talk about a guy who plays with confidence, Jason Williams. And here is Bryant. 
with the shot. And stolen by Williams. In the other Western Conference semifinal series last night, Clark, Dallas in a similar situation as the Kings. They won a game four at home to extend that series. And they can thank Dirk Nowitzki for that 30 points carried the Mavericks. Dallas looked dead in that series, but they have now forced a game five. Sacramento going to try to do the same. Grant kicks to Shaq. Shot clock at six. Put it down! Oh, are you kidding me? Shaquille <laughs> O'Neal. Bryant able to elevate and levitate once he takes flight. Just enjoy the show, folks. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Here's Williams. And he comes up with the deuce. Williams has got 11 in the second half. Los Angeles leading by 18. Fox passes to Grant. Here's Bryant. Connects for 63. For his position, Grant has good vision with the ball. I mean, he can find open guys. The Kings making a switch here. Turkle is checked in. And then for the Lakers. Or is checked in for Grant. Shaw subbed in for Fisher. Clark, Bill Jackson's Bulls, of course, winning six titles in the 90s. And now Bill is in charge of this special Los Angeles Lakers group. With the title under his belt, would this be the team of the 2000s? Absolutely. Without question, I mean, Shaq and Kobe are easily the best one-two punch in the league. I'd put both of those guys in the top eight to ten players in the league. The Zen master might have another dynasty in his hands. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Never outside. Pass to Stiakovic. Feeds it to Turkaloo. Back to Stiakovic. And another three for Sacramento. As smooth as they come, shooting the rock. Major Stoyakovic. And Clark Kobe has dominated this scoring matchup with the terrific Chris Webber. It looks like Los Angeles is on their way to a sweep. Kobe's won this matchup all series long, and that's been the key for the Lakers. In the corner, it's Circleu. And the pass to Divas. One thirty-seven left in the third quarter. Passes it to Stiakovic. Basket is good. The assist from Turkoglu. Stiakovic has got nine points in the quarter. Well, Clark, you got to give these young Kings owners credit. Since taking reins of this franchise two years ago, they have certainly brought excitement here to Sacramento. And Kevin, not just excitement, but since they took over, the Kings are on their best run since they came out west. And it's the Kings with the ball. After Shaquille O'Neal's miss, kicks it out to Turkoglu, pass to Stojakovic. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. Stojakovic is screen on Kobe. Lock at six. Yep, it counts. Weber's got 12 in the game. That almost seems effortless for Weber. He finds a mid-range opening and just drills it. Here's Bryant. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And stolen by Ori. Back to Kobe. Kobe diving in. Drops it in. That's 18 for him in the quarter. That was a slick drive and throw down by Bryant. Just cruising in for that crush. The Kings trail by 14. Pass to Stiakovic. His three pointers off the mark. And here's O'Neal. He'll bring it up. Whoa! Big time. <laughs> Making a statement big time. My goodness. Showstopper for sure. Had the hang time and knew what to do with it. Turkaloo against Fox. Turkaloo outside. Now the pass to Weber. Here's Christie. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. Your team. The Lakers, seventh. We're ready now for the final quarter of play from Sacramento. A wonderful May day here in Northern California. And as we start off this fourth quarter, Mike, 
Kobe Bryant was just incredible during the final frame of game three. 15 points, four of four from the field. Bryant is a clutch performer. So rare to see a 22-year-old rise to the occasion as consistently as Kobe. Powering in, Weber making the inside his. Pass to Kobe. And there's the drive. It goes down, and he's got 72 for the game. Staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has got to tighten up. Turkaloo outside. To the paint. Christie kicks to Williams. Turkaloo setting the pick for Williams. Five to shoot. Here's Weber, and the Kings check on two more. Here we are, Coach. The Lakers in line to sweep the Kings. A huge reason why Kobe Bryant. Another offensive outburst from Bryant. He is controlling this game. And the Kings just have no answers for him. Nice job stopping and rising up on the dime. Christie is a real pro at recognizing how he's being defended and then taking advantage of it. Los Angeles calls timeout. And the Lakers making a change here. O'Neal's checked in. That was your dance team. Lakers leading by 11. Lakers substitution. Number 30. Pass to Shaw. Shaquille O'Neal. To the inside. Here's Bryant. 74 points. Man, oh man. Boy, Brian Shaw could have rolled that ball to his teammate. He was so wide open. Pass to Weber. Back to Williams. And there's the pass to Stojakovic. Six on the shot clock. Outside Williams. Sacramento needs to get off a shot. And here's Turkaloo for three. And it's Harper with the rebound. Sometimes you do things right on offense, and the shots just don't fall. In game three, with the Kings down 18, Mike, midway through the fourth quarter, they went to the Hackershack. Shaq went just one of six at the line on Friday, but the Kings couldn't take advantage, failing to cut into that Lakers lead. So while it was effective, the hack of Shaq didn't make the game closer. Evans has checked in for Jason Williams. Shooting for Los Angeles. And the free throw, no good. Hey, because he's such a commanding force, sometimes sending Shaq to the line is your best option. Here's Stojakovic. Terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. More than pulling his weight offensively. I mean, he's ready and willing to step up when called upon. And they'll need him to continue filling it up if they want to take control. Christie against Fisher. Dish now to Kobe. Passes it to Shaw. From deep three-point territory. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. The Kings trail by 13. Three-pointer, Stojakovic. Good once again. That makes it eight for nine this game. Now for the first time in two decades, Coach, the NBA did not have a 60-win team during a full 82-game schedule. And you look at the West. Incredible balance. The Spurs with 58 wins leading the way. You had three 40-win teams fail to make the playoffs. Boy, what a great athlete. Kobe Bryant is. Man, watching him take flight and jam it down doesn't get much better than that. Christie against Fisher. Pass to Weber. Over Bryant. And Chris Weber with the bucket on the assist by Christie. Weber's got six points in the quarter. Taking full advantage of his height that time to get the shot off over the defense. And even if you're right on him, that's a difficult shot to contest. And the Lakers call time here. The short rest very important, and one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push. The Kings making a switch here. Jackson's checked in. And then for the Lakers, Grant comes in for Harper. And it's Fox in for Shaw. Jackson with it. Now defended by Fisher. Christie against Fox. Outside Jackson. Devon's a screen on Fisher. Here's Jackson. A putback. 
It's good on the putback. It's very hard to keep Divac off the board. You've got to have bodies on him, or that's what happens. That's to Kobe beyond the arc. Makes it with 31 points on the half. And the D was clearly lackluster there. No excuse letting a player of his caliber get that kind of shot. You've got to know the scouting report on this guy. It's lapses like this that continue to play them. 130 left in the fourth quarter. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Well, you know, I hesitate to never say never, but I don't think there's really enough time for a comeback to happen. It's a sizable lead, and it may get even bigger. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Kings. It's a 16-point game. Divots, the pass to Weber. Sacramento moving it around. The pass to Divots. Stojakovic kicks to Weber, fires the three, and another three for Sacramento. Once Stojakovic gets in the flow, it's very difficult to slow him down. What a night. O'Neal. And finished off by O'Neal. And this run has helped seal the win. Give them credit for executing down the stretch. Nice work. Fisher against Jackson. Now, here is Stojakovic. He's guarded close, and it's good for two. Well, they haven't given up. They've certainly not quit. Got to give them a lot of credit for that. And the deficit likely too much to overcome, but showing their pride, still competing. Now, here's Kobe. Shoots from 14. Grant kicks to Bryant. They double-team Kobe. Pass to Fox. Puts up a three. Sinks the three-pointer. And the Lakers lead by 16. Fox showing you he can spray it from deep now. The defense cannot afford to lose track of him behind the arc. Christie against Kobe over Bryant. And again, it's Sacramento converted. Bryant looking around. Tries the spin move. And here's Fisher outside. And they did it, folks. Big win for the Los Angeles Lakers. Thanks in large part to Kobe Bryant, setting a new playoff career high for scoring. Well, we thought we saw a great game from Kobe in game three, getting 36 points. He was even better tonight. Just magnificent. Make it 15 consecutive wins, Clark, for the Lakers. Kevin, when Kobe plays like this, impossible to account for both him and Shaq. Good luck to the next opponent. And for us here at 2K Sports, it's been a pleasure to have you with us tonight.